We're at the Deco Garage, getting ready to remove and replace the timing chain on a Chevy 2.4 liter engine. We'll be using Deco part number KTC 1338. It comes with a chain, crank sprocket, tensioner, tensioner guide and nozzle, as well as the upper and fixed timing chain guides. Before getting started, grab all the necessary tools. You'll need a tensioner tool and a camshaft actuator locking tool. First, remove the valve cover and take out all the spark plugs to help assist in engine rotation. Take off the harmonic balancer and engine front cover. Then use the crankshaft bolt to rotate the crankshaft clockwise until the number one piston is at the top dead center over the exhaust stroke. That means the exhaust camshaft will be at 10, the intake camshaft at 2, and the crankshaft at 12 o'clock. Now, remove the upper timing chain guide and bolts. At this point, it's critical to take off the timing chain tensioner. This will unload chain tension. If you miss this important step, the timing chain will become lodged and difficult to remove. Install a 24 mm wrench onto the hex of the exhaust camshaft in order to hold it in place. Next, remove and discard the exhaust camshaft actuator bolt. Take the actuator off the camshaft and chain. Remove the timing chain tensioner guide bolt and then pull off the tensioner guide. Now that those components are out of the way, take off the fixed timing chain guide access plug. Then the timing chain guide bolts and guide. You'll need the 24 mm wrench again, this time using it on the hex of the intake camshaft. Unscrew and set aside the bolts. Then take off the actuator and timing chain through the top of the cylinder head. Now remove the harmonic balancer bolt so you can take off the crankshaft sprocket. Note that some 2.4 liter engines also have an outer washer that will need to come off first. There are also different timing marks depending on the model engine you're working on, so be sure to check the engine codes to confirm. On this particular engine, the intake camshaft notch needs to be in the 10 o'clock position and the exhaust camshaft notch at 7. The number one piston should be at top dead center with the crankshaft key at 12 o'clock. Once everything is aligned, install the crankshaft sprocket with the timing mark facing outward in the 5 o'clock position. Now, check the timing chain. You'll see three colored links. Two match and one is unique. Assemble the intake camshaft actuator into the timing chain with the timing mark lined up with the uniquely colored link. Lower the timing chain through the cylinder head opening and make sure it goes around both sides of the cylinder block bosses. Install the intake camshaft actuator while aligning the dowel pin into the camshaft slot. Hand tighten the bolt in the actuator and then route the timing chain around the crankshaft sprocket, lining up the first matching colored link with the timing mark on the crankshaft sprocket, approximately in the 5 o'clock position. Once that's set, install the harmonic balancer bolt and rotate the crankshaft clockwise to eliminate all chain slack. But be careful not to rotate the intake camshaft. Install the new fixed timing chain guide and bolts and tighten them to 106 inch pounds. Then install the new timing chain tensioner guide. Place the tensioner guide bolts and tighten them to 89 inch pounds. Now place the exhaust camshaft actuator into the timing chain with the timing mark lined up with the second matching colored link. Then install it onto the exhaust camshaft. Be sure to align the dowel pin into the camshaft slit. Using the 24 mm open-ended wrench to rotate the exhaust camshaft approximately 45 degrees until the dowel pin in the camshaft actuator goes into the camshaft slot. When the actuator seats on the cam, hand tighten the new exhaust camshaft actuator bolt. 
Now is a great time to verify all the colored links and the appropriate timing marks are still aligned. If they are not aligned, repeat the portion of the procedure necessary to align the timing marks. Next, mount the upper timing chain guide and bolts and tighten to 89 inch-pounds. Make sure the timing tensioner is still compressed. It should measure 72 millimeters end-to-end. -end. Check the timing chain tensioner thread hole in the cylinder head for dirt and debris and clean if needed. Then ensure the timing chain tensioner seal is centered throughout the torque procedure to eliminate any possibility of an oil leak. Install the timing chain tensioner assembly and tighten the tensioner to 55 foot-pounds. Use the harmonic balancer to move all chain slack to the tensioner side. Carefully feed a long tool down through the cam drive chest and rest it on the cam chain. A sharp jolt diagonally downwards towards the tensioner will compress it approximately one eighth of an inch and release the locking mechanism on the tensioner. Install the locking tool and tighten the bolts into the cylinder head at 89 inch pounds. Using a torque wrench, tighten the camshaft actuator bolt to 22 foot-pounds, plus another 100 degrees. Remove the locking tool. And old timing chain oiling nozzle. Then install the new nozzle and tighten its bolt to 89 inch-pounds. Apply sealant compound to the thread of the timing chain guide bolt access hole plug and then install it and tighten it to 55 foot-pounds. Once complete, reinstall your engine components and covers.